The purpose of this video is to quickly talk through an economic theory called Winner's Curse. Now the Winner's Curse is specific to auctions. Now I know a lot of you guys might not attend auctions but this will be beneficial for you to understand because a lot of you probably use eBay and what is eBay? It's an auction site. So the Winner's Curse suggests that the winner of an auction always overpays for the good. Now why does this happen? Well if we envisage an auction room and there's lots of private bidders and there's an item on display that a lot of people are interested in buying. Every single bidder has got his own valuation of that item. But the thing is, the item will always go to the person who overvalues it the most. And that's why it's called the winner's curse. It says that if you use auction as a medium of purchase, the chances are you will overpay for that good. Now, there are a few exceptions to this rule. And we have got an article on Winner's Curse. If you click on the link below this video, you'll be able to read it at your own leisure and you'll find it very interesting. Now, the theory suggests that when you've got a room full of people with their own valuations, most of the time, unless they're making big mistakes, the true value of that item will be somewhere in the middle. There's gonna be people that undervalue the item and overvalue it. The true value will be around the midway. Now, there are probably people that have won things on eBay and they've paid a lot less than what the item's actually worth. And you might think, well, how does the winner's curse work then? What we'll say is read the article because we do actually mention that and the, the whole theory of winner's curse has got an exception and explains why that might well be the case. There is a strategy on the article called shaded bids, which is something that economists say you should use in order to compensate against the winner's curse. So have a look at that, especially if you do use eBay, because you'll probably never bid in the same way once you've read the article. Thank you for your time.